So let's go back into the preset manager and I'll explain a few things within the preset manager. Now we have the ability to load more of our presets if we wanted to. So if I wanted to go, let's go to cracks brushes here. I'll click on that and load it. It'll load them within the preset manager, almost the same as doing it within the uh, drop down menu up there. We, if we click on a um, a preset brush, a brush preset, we can also rename it. And this one has a name. We could rename it if we wanted to. If we want to keep these brushes together, we can select them all, or you can select separate ones. Hold Control to uh, deselect certain ones you don't want, or select ones that you want. You can hit save set and then you can save out an, a brush, a whole, whole brush set like the things we were loading together. And then we have the option to delete them out of our brushes preset um, manager there. So that's how you use the preset manager. You can also do this with things like styles, patterns, and all that uh, stuff. Swatches, you can add different swatches in here if you want. So that's pretty cool. And your swatches will appear over here on the right. So let's, uh, I think I think that gives you a, a pretty good overview of the preset manager. Another thing that I wanted to show you that is new in Photoshop CS6 is the ability to migrate presets or export and import presets. Now migrating presets, um, is for migrating from older versions of Photoshop. And since I don't have any older versions of Photoshop on here, I'm not able to show you this. So if you have Photoshop CS5, you would be able to migrate your old presets into Photoshop CS6 very easily. Now if I go to um, import or export import presets, I have the ability to import my different presets here. So let me go to click on import and then I go to select import folder I could come down to um, I gotta find my folder it's computer that's my external um, let's go to resources sorry about that I was thinking and then Photoshop brushes and now I could load any of these that I really wanted to. Let's let's do coffee stain. Hit OK. And then I'll click on it and I'll hit the uh, button to bring it over to presets to import. And I'll hit import presets. And now if I go to, let me get this out of my way. If I go to the brush, let me make this brush a little smaller so I can like see what the hell I'm doing. All right click on this and then we go up here to our gear load brushes and oh, let me see if I can figure out where it went so the preset isn't gonna show up in our manager or in our drop-down menu because we need to restart Photoshop so let's do that and I'm gonna uh, run Photoshop here. I run it as administrator so I can save to certain areas. Sometimes I get the uh, um, not available to save in this area kind of stupid thing. So we'll open up what we just had. We don't even need to open up to see this but I like to have it on there so I can start drawing. And then I move down the preset uh, button here. Click on the gear and then down here at the bottom we have the coffee stain brushes preset we can either replace the whole entire set or we can append this to the append it to the bottom so I'm just gonna hit OK for, to replace say changes to current brushes no thanks so now we got our coffee stains here so that's how you manage your presets and uh, that's how you get um, them to show up down here for quick and easy access so hopefully you guys learned uh, how to use these uh, fairly well. And ooh, nice. Awesome.
and it hopefully the, this helps you save a lot of time. So just take some time to manage your preset, your brush presets, and then we can, then you can start like using them all the time and not have to worry about manage or doing anything else later. You don't want to be stuck having to manage your brush presets while you're working on a deadline for a project because that just wastes time, obviously. So do it on your free time when you don't have anything to do. Is uh, and that's my advice to you. So I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want some more uh, Photoshop tutorials to be notified about. So I'll see you later.